There's also a racial subtext to the firing of school teachers. Teachers Union Vice President Nate Saunders essentially said as much on the Politics Hour. They're role models in the African American community, he said. The school's chancellor is not African American, which is part of what drives this racial sentiment. Do you think, Chairman Gray, that the mayor should be sensitive to the racial makeup of the teachers' corps, or have we in Washington arrived at a point when it should simply be all about performance, not the race of the school's chancellor? or the race of the teachers? Well, I think fundamentally it has to be about the achievement uh, of our kids. And uh, we've seen some improvements, and frankly, there are, there are areas where there have not been improvements. Uh, all along the way, uh, even, even before this race started, I have been a proponent of uh, accountability, that people need to be accountable for their performance. Um, I think there are some serious questions about the uh, impact evaluation that is being used uh, with teachers at this stage. Um, its validity has not been established and its application, frankly, has been questioned uh, in a number of circles uh, as the basis then for uh, firing teachers. It's the impact evaluation and test scores. And what we've frankly done, what this administration has done, is create an environment with within which you know people are teaching teachers are teaching to the test and i don't think that's a ne necessarily a measure of whether kids are learning uh, or not do you think race should be taken into account when we look at the firing of teachers or the hiring of teachers well i think if, if, if there is an allegation that race may be at the basis of the firing it sure it certainly should be looked at um, but it certainly should not be a factor performance should be a factor in whether our kids are learning or not do you think there should be a sensitivity to race as we look at performance of teachers, Mayor Fenty? The chancellor has been charged, both by me as the person who nominated her and the council who approved her, uh, as f for fixing the school system. And one of the things that the chancellor has done in a fantastic way is to start to evaluate teachers, which will allow her to uh, be able to remove teachers who are underperforming and reward those who are, are, and I support her 100% in those efforts. Now, in the last two questions, I think you're starting to see the distinction between uh, the, the two of the candidates who are here. The, the, the chairman professes the support for streetcars, but he was the sole person uh, who uh, led the cut in the streetcar funding before uh, everyone uh, got exercised and got the council uh, to put it back. The, the criticism of the impact, which basically is how the chancellor reviews uh, teachers' performance. That is not the, the place for either a city council chairman uh, or for uh, a mayor. The, if we hire somebody to do a job, and we've hired the chancellor to fix the schools, then she comes up with the evaluation system. She and her team of experts. We are the politicians. Politicians need to stay out of the day-to-day -day running of the schools. That is how we got ourselves do in the problems that we're in for the last 30 should, years. Do you also believe that race has no place in this discussion whatsoever? Your question was was whether race had any uh, place in, in, this in whether or not somebody should be hired or fired. The only thing that has a place in whether someone should be hired or fired is whether they are doing a good job for our kids.